Alright, I'm going to show you how to set up a satellite dish for you know, hunting camp if you're going tailgating. You can use it for that and this will pretty much apply to any type of dish. This one right here is a dish 500. They have different ones. There's one that says dish HD which is the new high definition dish and these setups in the menu will be the same for both and you pretty much use the same uh, you know pointing directions and the way the dish is going to point is going to be different in certain areas so you'll want to look that up and see what your elevation skew and azimuth is and your azimuth is pretty much just which way your dish is going to point um, this right here is just a compass you can see you always want to make it read the numbers on there which the HD dish usually points south southwest this one right here is just a standard definition dish you will be pointing it more southwest which will be about that way but the high definition will be pointing more this way but uh, like I said just look up your area codes and get your numbers for it from there but uh, go ahead and walk you through this setup I already have my cable set up running in there to the receiver which is in my shed there and then the cable running out here to the TV so I can walk you through the steps on it <clears throat> you can do this without a meter um, you just gotta go really slow when you're trying to adjust it because it takes that receiver just a second to pick that signal up I'll go ahead and walk you through this the TV isn't really doing that that black bar that's running up and down it that's just what's happening recording with this camera but uh, you want to hit your menu button then go to step number six which is system setup then number one you can see the installation there right before it cut it off and then we'll wait till it comes up again and you're going to want to hit number one which will be point dish all right you'll see it's on a screen that says point dish up there and with this satellite like i said a dish 500 you'll be picking up satellites 119 and 110 it's already on 119 so right here we're going to be looking for your signal to come up after the black bar goes past and there it comes and you see it says not locked no signal on there it's in the red that's what we're going to do i know the dish is going to point more towards that way so i'll go ahead and get it close and then you just want to move it a little bit at a time until that signal starts jumping up there okay see we're starting to get it right now we're right below 50 so we want to keep going and this dish you can usually get around 70 75 sometimes up closer to 80 just depends but anything really above 60 will give you a good signal until it rains all right so we got that up around let's see 75 or so and you see on there where it says locked echo star 119 west it has to be locked before you can do the next step you want to go to cancel on the new equipment it'll be done and then just cancel out of it and there you go up and running once you get it set you want to come back to your dish tighten this bolt and this bolt if your elevation and everything is already tight then you're good to go and then tighten this bolt right here it goes all the way through you have a nut right here hold that nut tighten this bolt down until it squeezes inside of there that just assures it won't turn now this right here is just on a it's called a non-pin they sell tripods also if that would work better for you you always want to make sure that this mast or your pole on your tripod 
is plumb. If that's off any, it's going to throw your elevation off and possibly throw your skew off, depending on which way it's leaning. Be sure you got that plumb, and, and that's pretty much it. You're good to go. Um, a couple of pictures on there showing you how to where to put the cables at for your satellite input and your TV out. And like I said, pretty much applies to any of the receivers. You, know, you can take your receiver from your house, take it tailgating to a hunting camp. It doesn't matter. They don't know where that receiver is. As long as you got a dish to pick up that signal, it'll work. But just make sure you get that signal locked in good and you will be good to go. If you have any questions about it, shoot us an email and we'll be happy to answer your questions.